International, Carol has been called to deal with a report of an intoxicated passenger. What's your name? I'm sorry. I'm Carol. Okay. I'm loose. Okay. Well, we had a little bit of concern because I guess earlier there was some concern. We you can let go now. I'm sorry. There was a concern that uh, you may have been drinking alcohol. And so some concerns were brought up earlier about that. And we're a little bit concerned now just because your demeanor, you're kind of swaying back and forth. Are you on no, any kind of medication I don't, I don't, or anything? I don't, I don't have my glasses on. Okay. And I have black on. Okay. Well, I guess I just needed to bring to your attention that we were just a little bit concerned yeah. and just make sure that there weren't going to oh. be any other yeah. situations. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, I guess initially the police have been involved just because of the possible altercation between him and I guess his female companion that's with him. Uh, he does. I feel like this is a good new rabbit hole because like it can go either way because airplanes are like airliners are fucking notoriously shitty. And like the underpaid uh, fucking manager Andes that work those airlines are like they're, you know, they don't have a lot of uh, bandwidth to deal with like dumbasses that they have to deal with all day long. You know what I mean? So I can totally see this. I can totally see this going either way on most of these altercations. You know what I mean? It does seem to be under the influence of something. So just because his behavior, his demeanor, um, when he shook my hand, he didn't let go of it. He just kind of stood there. He was kind of holding my hand. So I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on him. In L.A., two connecting passengers are having a bad day. Gary and Michael were delayed five hours incoming from New York on a rival airline. Now, their only chance of making their meeting is to fly southwest. Look at our names up. We're on the computer. This is United. I know. If you look at the computer, you'll see us. It will On a 2 o'clock. Please. Please. What's this guy going to do to me? You think this guy's gonna kill me, chat? Account created 32 minutes ago, following since 31 minutes ago. Like, exclusively created this account so he could fucking ask me about what kind of perfume I use. It's Jeremy Fragrance, chill. I don't think it's Jeremy Fragrance. This has got to be a fucking... This is a fetish thing. Like, this is a stalker fetish thing, I think, right? Motherfucker, answer me! What is your... What is your malfunction, Sergeant? Just want to buy a perfume, to be honest. Okay. Bro. People that just want to buy a perfume, to be honest, don't create sock accounts after they got banned on their other one. And literally ask. And spam over and over again. The same thing happened to Asmongold, really? Like, like, look at how innocent he is, dude. Of course, I'm going to ask SB. I consider well-dressed. Didn't get banned, just preventing it. Lol, W. So, for real, I'm kind of curious now. Okay, now everyone's asking about my perfumes. Holy shit. Now I don't know if I should respond because, like, I feel like I don't know what he's going to do with that information. Trade the answer for his real account name? Yeah, what's your real account? I'll give you the answer if you tell me what the real account name is. Trade offer. I give you one perfume name and you give me what your original account is. (laughs) 
He probably has a body pillow view and he wants to make it more authentic. Maybe. Okay, this dude's not going to respond, I think. Now that he's been called out. We don't, they have paper tickets. We don't have anything. Right. They booked it from our office after missing the last flight. Okay, so how are you going to pay for them? They were paying for them. Pay for them. I'll put them on my, my charge. Okay, but the thing is, is you guys, you're not going to make the 2 o'clock flight. We get you on the... Okay, sold out. Sold all day. Please. We started at New York at 5 a.m. The flight was two hours late. So we missed the adjoining flight, which was on a different airlines. And at this point, we have no idea where our luggage is. So now we're hoping for the third attempt on a flight to get to San Jose just to meet a car to get us to Monterey. Sounds like a great book. I'm gonna. I'm trying to sell them their tickets, but I already called the gate. They they're pre they're pretty much not gonna make it. No one going in. And we appreciate security by all means. We appreciate what they're doing to secure these places. At the same time, we need a little bit of hospitality. This guy's the most New Yorker motherfucker, dude. This is literally all of Jenks' friends. Okay, did he did he give back? Did he respond? No, he literally did not respond. He's like, he's going back into his cave now. Jen's doing her best, though. I know she is. Here, sign those. I told you guys are on the way, but uh, it doesn't look like you're going to make the flight. Why do we book this flight? With only 10 minutes before takeoff, it's a race against time. What do you think, guys? Made it? In Chicago, Sandy has been called to the ticket desk. Hi. Where are you going to? She's going to Birmingham. I'm going to Birmingham. Unfortunately, we don't accept the animals. But I didn't see anything on this. And, yeah. And I didn't know until we got here. And you're talking to, like, the biggest dog lover that there I mean, ever was. This whole thing is just a sweet. I know. But it's just our policy, unfortunately. I understand that. But if they allow some pets for assistance, then... Assist. I mean, and normally if it was something for, like, mentally assist, like yeah. some people depend on their Well, I can say animals. I really depend on this dog today. I, I'm going to need her if you... Dude, how the fuck do you not know that you need a literal license for that dog, bro? People get mad at this uh, when people, like, abuse the emotional support thing. <laughs> Colin Powell behind. What? I did. It doesn't show. Twitch, please update. I want to buy that perfume. Thank you. What? I did. It doesn't show Pepe hands. Okay, we're done with this guy. People abuse the emotional support thing a lot. But also, let's just say fish has flown under my feet. Both as a pupperino when he was in a little cage, in a little bag, and also as a big boy with no fucking, and uh, no cage or no bag. That's a fucking big ass, like, 90 or 80 pound pit bull. Such a good boy too. Of course I gave him uh, drugs ahead of time. And it was really cute because he would drool because of the drugs. Turkish man with a pit bull, how'd you get through security? Actually, when you have a dog, especially if you have a dog that's like super cute, it doesn't even fucking matter. Like people lose their shit. Think about it like yourself, dude. If you see a fucking dog walking around the airport, I'm gonna pet it. Like, like it takes every fucking, it takes every muscle fiber in my body to like drum up enough willpower not to pet the canine, like, you know, cop dogs. Whenever I'm standing in a line and they're coming over with their fucking tails wagging and shit, I'm like, I have to pet this dog. Literally tase me. I will deal with the consequences. So if I see, like, if I see a doggo, like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm gonna fucking pet that shit. Like, sorry, you shouldn't have brought it here. So the same goes for, uh, you know, pit bulls and all these other dogs, too. People loved it. People loved fish at the airport. Now we 
you would need a letter for? Let me go make a couple phone calls for you, okay? okay. Give me a few minutes. Sandy needs to find another airline to take Ruth and her pet dog, Oprah, or they'll both be stranded in Chicago. I don't know what we're going <laughs> to Shitty pro tip. Have drugs on you. The dog will come for you to pet him all the time. Because I don't know anyone in Chicago. My daughter's already flown, so she's gone. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Back at BWI, Carol speaks with the pilot and decides to have another conversation with Lewis Reed. So, can I just talk to you folks for a second over here? I just need to talk to the three all over here. Lewis is traveling to Raleigh, North Carolina with his wife and grandson for a family reunion. Okay. Okay. My grandson. Well, we kind of need to make a decision right now if, if the two of you want to travel without him today. He's not going to be able to get on this flight. Um, we may allow you to travel later on today, but right now, we're not going to Wait, what's wrong? We go where we gotta go. Right, and I understand that you want to go. Use that okay, that you can do in the restroom, but we're not gonna be able to let him travel on this flight. So you all need to make a decision whether you want to go, and we'll get yeah, him on I a later to, flight. Well, you have to do You have to go on a later flight. To tell you. you got to so follow what? the rules and regulations. What, what, is well, the, what I was gonna what do is happened? explain that to you. I just didn't want to do it in front of your grandson. We Girl, talking. I'm not doing it, and you're not getting yes, on it. Be going on the same no, flight. No, we're not. We can't. Like you did. You know, okay, you this is what I'm gonna do. We're set in the restaurant. No, I'm not. And we'll take the next I'm, flight. I'm out of here. We're well, going to let her. We're going to we're gonna take the next flight. I'm well, a she wants down. to go on this flight. So okay, this dude is drunk as fuck. I mean, that, that does kind of make sense. That, that This is like one instance where at first I was like, I wonder if it's like racially motivated. But like, the drunk old dude, like drunk old dude, he could be a problem. Like that, that you know, because like, he's sloppy as fuck right now. As if there aren't white drug dudes on the flight. I mean, dude, anyone that's like zooted like that, you absolutely like his wife is fucking trying to leave him, dude. What are you talking about? His his wife and his grandson are like, like getting on that flight. So you're wrong. What we're gonna do is to gonna, to gonna, gonna allow her to do that, ma'am. If you and him wanna go ahead and board, that's you can go on because your group is boarding right now. And then we'll, we'll do I it. don't know where you live. Let me, uh, down right, there. My edge, my oh, phone over God, there. And we'll put notes in the reservation so that you know what flight he's coming. This is racism. All right, I'll get my lawyer. Can I call my lawyer, please? I mean, he's not arrested. <laughs> like, call your lawyer right now. <laughs> Back at LAX, Gary makes it to the gate. Looking for us, huh? We're actually going into an uh, oversell. So I just called for a counter suit. Alrighty. What does that mean? I'm sorry? What does that mean what you just said? Well, we've actually 10-minute ruled the flight, meaning that um, if you're not here 10 minutes before your flight is scheduled to depart, we are able to give your seats away to standby passengers, which didn't is what we've done. they call you from downstairs? And I understand there's people waiting as well, but didn't they call you from downstairs regarding our tickets? Yeah, they did. Do we have our but seats? That I, if you're not here, I can't pull your seats. I actually... Oh my fucking god. Oh dude. That's literally devastating. She's so racist. I'll say it, dude. That's anti-Italian uh racism 100%. That's right. That's the real racism, actually. Nobody talks about phobia. Wow, dude. The woman of color looking down at uh another person of color, you know? That's Fucked up, dude. Wow. Okay, but for real, though, all jokes aside, like, w this is so demoralizing. I just, I hate, I hate how they make you feel. Like, I know that the people that work at airlines, like, you know, much respect to them. They have to deal with, like, fucking assholes all day. They have significantly better uh, fuses than cops. And much like cops, they too are dealing with people on their worst moments at airlines, right? But you get treated like fucking cattle, dude. It is so dehumanizing. That process is so... That process is so bad. Like... And, and it's partially that way because, like, the corporation... 
has designed the policies in a way that like they milk maximum utility out of like every fucking inch of the plane like maximum fucking a dollar signs out of every every inch of the plane and they always overbook for that reason like it's really fucked up we need you here to give you a seat and since well here i am i know but we've already cleared everybody that we've you understand this guys they didn't tell me to pull your boarding passes they just said okay we have three late people who's coming up to get you know they just we got here we lost this life no yeah. way yep this is a misery this is down below means nothing up above. Means nothing anyway. They're actually like well behaved. Wow, I almost racially profiled them and said they're almost well behaved for a couple of Italian guys, you know what I mean? But yeah, these are this is like This is actually very surprising for people from New York. <laughs> you know what I mean? And no, I'm not using that as a substitute for Italian, okay? I just mean like... Yeah, I said Italian with a hard eye. I know. I'm sorry. Coming out. All right, guys. Let's have a... Uh, you want to pay someone? Uh, uh, All right, guys. I'm walking here. I'm walking there. I'm walking everywhere. Try to make Monterey. We're gonna walk. Gary and Michael have missed another flight, but they're not yeah. finished yet. People from New York, nice dog whistle. <laughs> yeah, I'm dog whistling Italians. In Chicago, Sandy is still trying to find an airline that will allow Ruth to fly with her dog. Do you guys have a flight um, available at all going to Birmingham today? It is $522. One way, plus the fee for the animal, right, in the cabin? A $600 ticket won't work, but Sandy's got one final option, speaking to the only man who can give the go-ahead, Captain Wolf. Uh, okay, this is, you know this is fake. No, like, gate processing lady has ever taken this much time out of their day to help another human being. I'm sorry. Like, going to the fucking captain? What? On what planet, dude? They literally... Sometimes I feel like they get off on telling you, like, you can't get on the flight. I've been in so many fucked situations. I've literally never seen an instance where, like, someone at the gate has ever been kind to me. Who hurt you, lol? Dude, I used to travel a lot for work, man. And I also always flew economy. And I didn't have, like, any of those fucking, you know, skip the ticket shit. Which, you know, definitely don't buy. It's totally not worth it. You know, so you don't fucking clutter up the space, but... Dude, if you're a frequent flyer, it's just insane. Do not buy it. Do not buy it. It's terrible. Do not. It's so expensive. It's not worth it. Please don't buy it. Uh, and I think she was going to get like $600 to ship it on Northwest. And you're hot. Imagine how they treat non-hot people. Dude, it's the TSA. Are you fucking kidding me? You think they give a fuck, dude? You're literally insane if you think that they give a fuck about being attractive. They do not care, dude. They're gonna pay like $13 an hour, which is like decent pay in comparison to other jobs that have like the same lack of like uh, requirements and shit like that. They, but they do not care, dude. They do not fucking care. Actually, TSA might be even uh, more than that. $13 an hour is not good pay, but it's good pay in comparison to other comparable security jobs. That's what I mean. That's why I said decent. Not that it's decent overall. Or, okay, it's 19 an hour. Sorry. TSA is fucking good pay for comparable security jobs. So you're literally fucking wrong. Literally, ask, just ask someone. 
it's not 13. More than that. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna look up the TSA salary so we I'm pretty sure the TSA salary is Yeah, the starting TSA officer starting job is thirty seven thousand and the average base pay is forty four thousand nine hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars a year. It goes from thirty seven to fifty four. It's, um, that's trash. Dude, how much do you guys think security? That's trash. Are you fucking stupid? For a security job, like, TSA jobs are decent paying, like I said. I mean, it's poverty in California, yes, but. When I say a job is like decent pay, I'm not talking about what it deserves. I'm talking about with respect to other comparable jobs in a similar area, like a security officer. Oh, these are seniority levels. Never mind. Those are like the, the. And they get like fat benefits, don't they? They do, right? Don't they get fat benefits, chat? Like when they are when they're in TSA. I bet chat would get mad at fucking if I said Starbucks baristas actually are a pretty fucking sought after and uh, job in comparison to most other jobs in the service industry. Because they just don't fucking know that it is, I'm literally correct. And they automatically think like, oh no, every single job. That doesn't mean it's a fucking great job. It's just a great job in comparison to other service industry jobs. Madge, me when it sounds as anything. Benefits are pretty fucking fat for Starbucks. For those of you who don't know. Jank Uger kicked off American Airlines flight. <laughs> this was so funny. All right, let's keep going. And Delta, because you, you have to travel with, you know, you can't just ship alone. She's, she's real sweet, but she... They're all aware of it, and um, just have her come on as a normal passenger. As a normal passenger? Okay. okay. I'll let her know that. Thank you so, so you much. Okay. They pay for my entire bachelor's. Currently, my master's, thanks to them. They're going to make a sips, and they're going to let you take the dog with you, okay? They talk to the captain, so everything's going to be all right. So this is an insane story. This never happens. Okay. This literally I never happens. Unlike the top of the hour ad break, which happens every day at the same fucking times throughout the day, but has a very easy way, uh, an easy solution, an easy way to avoid those ads, of course. And that is by subscribing, uh, either for $5 a month or for free if you have a Twitch Prime that you can use here. Um, you can also use an ad block or a VPN if you'd like. Those are the ways to avoid the ads, but Twitch Prime is free. Uh, if you want an ad-free broadcasting experience, here's the ad. I just talked to the captain. Going. He's like, how much did Northwest want? I'm like, oh, about $600. And I said, sort of Delta. He goes, well, I'll take her for $250. you are just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she must know that I'm upset because she's been a little 
Is she going to be okay on board? I mean, yeah. everything will be okay. Yeah. Can you open up? Can I see her? Oh, bro. Oh, oh, my God. Yes, I am Swedish. Hi, sweetie. Oh, my God. 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 Poor thing. He's scared. Oh, my God. Oh, I would... I would boop. I would boop its nose with my nose. I would kiss that fucking snorty ass nose, dude. Oh, he's such a fucking ugly little baby. Oh my god. What is this? What in the billionaires club is going on here? Good one, Elon. Besides stormtroopers that the rebels don't want you to see. Starbucks partner here, mental health benefits, 100% tuition reimbursement, medical, dental, vision insurance, stock options, 20 hours a week. White people and your pets? Shut up. Keith made me. You sound like my fucking grandfather. A son. Why do you have the dog inside? Olum. You are going to get disease. Stop kissing the dog. That's what you sound like. <laughs> he thinks like, you know, dogs are supposed to stay outside and be like guard dogs. Your grandpa is right. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it is, it is an exception, but it, you know, you feel good making an exception like this. I mean, we do carry assist the animals. You know, it's just something we can't make a habit of doing. Oh, but she's like fucking flying first class and everything for our business. Back at BWI, with his wife and grandson choosing to abandon him, Lewis's mood has taken a turn for the worse. Please. <laughs> Sir. Okay. This is exactly I'm always what... low. I've been in the service. What you want me to do? Right, okay, sir. Give me my sister's phone number so Can she can come and get me. I'll no. get it, sir. They're trying to lock me up, squirrel. And you being stupid. No, I'm not. I could be I could be where I'm going in, in 20 minutes. And you'll give me a problem? Exactly, sir. All right, cool. All right. Do okay. what you gotta Love do. Effect. Is he getting progressively drunker or like, I feel like he's getting more belligerent. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's happening. Sir, I'm going to ask you to wait so, right here. Give sir. me the phone I number. Rob, well, we're going to get a phone number. Rob. Rob. You can go right on up front. Rob, we're going to board these two right, right here. Cool. Cool. As his family right, board the flight, Carol brings in some assistance. It's about the fact that the captain has concerns about you flying. So right now, what we're what doing... Fine. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Okay, that's racism. That like he's literally not doing anything that warrants a fucking RoboCop over here to come in with his fucking tight ass hat, dude. Like, yeah, he's drunk, but like, come on, come on, bro. They brought Thumbelina out. Like, they rolled him out with his fucking. He just got out of training. He's like. His titties are popping out of his fucking shirt because he just did steroids. That's bullshit, dude. That they have concerns about you flying. Who? The captain has concerns about you flying. And I have concerns about you flying. So right now, we're telling you that you're not able to fly on this flight. Well, when can I travel? Well, we got one to me you. Right, the concern is I don't know that you're going to be able to travel today. It depends on your behaviors. Because um, behavior this is now the second good. time. It's well, so unfortunately, it wouldn't be good if they wouldn't be standing here. I can assure you. No, that's 100%. Okay, I take it back. That's racism. He was right. There is 0% chance cops would roll up like this in any other situation if there was a white dude that was like this level drunk and behaving this way. Like, I know they probably would have taken him off the flight, but come the fuck on, dude. He's literally, he's literally just like 
upset. Like, he's just upset. He's, he's drunk. And he's also now upset because he can't be on the flight with his family. Like, totally understandable. Having those fucking thumbs over there is, is just completely unwarranted. They do look like porn cops. Oh, yeah. um, I think for right now, maybe he needs to probably go back up front to the ticket counter. Yes, sir. Uh, the police were called just as backup just because he seems a little unstable to me. They spoke to him. And we he seems a little black to me. Call the cops out here. You know, escort him. I don't know if you saw his uh, complexion. He was black. Of course, that means he's uh, unstable and belligerent. We've asked Bullshit. him just to leave the concourse for now. If he wants to try to go later, he can go up to the ticket counter and try to get rebooked. But we're going to put notes in his reservation. I don't know that he'll be fit to travel at all today, but... Oh, fuck you, dude. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, my God. For now. That's not a Karen. She's a patriot. Yep, brother. You, you. At least been advised he needs to stay out of the bar and get himself together. Lewis is led back downstairs now. Bro, 2000s era television is so wild because there's like, there's just like so much homophobia, so much racism, just like fucking, and it's content. Like, you know, TV producers are like, mm, this is good. Just has to stay out of trouble long enough to make a later flight. Like, look at him. They're like, like they're escorting him out with like one hand on him. Like, that's so fucked up, dude. That is so fucked up. Further down the concourse, Jan is concerned about a passenger who has fainted in the security line. He was vomiting. Um, he is sweating and he's sitting in a wheelchair. So I do have some concerns as to whether once he gets off the ground in 35,000 feet, um, whether or not he'd be able to travel. It's COVID 2001. Jan has made her decision, and it's not good news. Back in the day, racism was funny. The left doesn't understand comedy and can't take a joke. I'm willing to bet that this motherfucker has cried about, like, white people in my chat. You haven't grown up with these annoying ass white stop white explaining. Jim Crow wrote that comment. Okay, never mind. He's made fun of. He's made fun of white people too. Never mind. I was wrong. He literally said, yo, I need attention. Read my logs. Country boys don't fear a Turk. Okay, yeah, this, never mind. This person's kind of funny. <laughs> You're telling me short kings can't cosplay as basketball players? That's ableist. <laughs> Dude, I can't relate with the 6'4 hot himbo politician Twitch streamer with friends. I'm a Twitch chatter. You have a nicer house than g Easy. My son's textbook talked about you buying a home and why it's capitalist propaganda. You fell off. The hood watch Ludwig. Now mogul moves only. <laughs> Country boys don't fear a Turk. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny, dude. Okay, this dude's funny. How many XQCs are you? The chat making wide jokes is so ableist. You're perfect the way you are. The Albanians were upset with that take. Hossi, this shit is boring as hell. Aiden Ross would have passed by now. Facts. Yeah, this motherfucker is funny. All right, that's a good one, Chatter. Well, I just talked to Medlink. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and they said no. 
Oh, please, please don't do this to us. Please no, don't do walk. this. I can walk. Please don't well, do this. Well, don't do this to us, okay? Yeah. Uh, I am fine. Don't I, do that. I can walk. I've walked all the way around the town. Okay, no, but I mean, I saw you vomit a half an hour ago. Yeah, it's no, for the, your safety. I've been with you guys before. Right. We have, no, we have many flights to go to Albany today. No, please don't do this to us. Please don't do this. No. Don't do this. Yeah. It's for the safety of your son. I was in the first, uh, when you first go through security there, and I was in line and uh, standing there, and apparently I just passed out, which I've had a couple of problems with what they call syncope, passing out. I've done a battery of tests, and they, they have not been able to find anything. Bro, there's this one chatter who keeps saying, like, bro, Labor Movement X, have you seen it? And I Googled it, okay? He's been spamming it. And I Googled it. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Our lives, our investment, our rights as country. 21 upvotes, dude, in 26 days. What the fuck is Labor Movement X? This looks like some fucking CIA shit, dude. I don't know. I'll ask some of my, uh, my, my... I'll ask some of my labor. Yeah, what the fuck? Telling people to just go on strike one day with no real grassroots infrastructure or coordination is a good way to get people fired en masse. Won't go talk to their neighbors and co-workers about what they believe or how we can transition past the alienation of capitalism, but want a bunch of scared scattered around the U.S. to just flake on their jobs, lol. You'll ask your contacts? No, man. Not my contacts. I'm going to ask, like, fucking actual labor writers about this to see if there's any validity to this. Because right now, this, like, reeks of, you know, some silly fucking lib shit. This guy's back, dude. Sag, I'll just rely on pheromones, I guess. Although I think they still haven't confirmed humans secrete them. Sam, please, I tried, but I don't think the pheromones will work, man. So, chat, what, perfumes, what perfumes do you like? Hassan, I'd be too selfish to share his fragrances with his fellow comrades. Dude, I have a bunch of freaks in the chat today, dude. I'm too much. I'm too selfish, dude. <laughs> what is going on in the chat today? You're the guy who doesn't share his cologne? I have. I use Blue de Chanel. And he knows it already, which is already weird enough. Like, he knows it. It's just, like, weirding me out the way he's, like, relentlessly asking about it and refuses to tell me what his real account is. Straight up never felt like such a freak. It's on Wikipedia. Wait, what? My cologne is on Wikipedia? Shut the fuck up. What? No, he lied. What do you mean? What does this mean? It's a she? What are you doing? Do you, do you even know who this person is? Why are you doing that? 
Church name? Celebrity seen endorsing or simply suggesting it in their favorite body fragrance includes Hassan Piker? What the fuck? Wait, why? What the fuck? And I'm first on the list too. Yo, this is like when I... Like, I was on the Raya app uh, thing as well until they deleted me off the wiki page. Oh, no, I'm still there. Raya is noted for his celebrity user base, which includes Hassan Piker. Next to Chet Hanks. Yet. I'm scheduled to see a neurologist later in the month, but they, uh, so far they haven't found anything, and it was it obviously just come on very sudden. At the moment, Kevin is going nowhere unless he can convince Jan his condition is stable. Back in L.A., Gary and Michael head back to the ticket counter to get some justice. Yolanda steps in to help. What's going on? I mean, we booked the flight earlier, and they told us to up to the gate that everything would be fine. Channing Tatum found Zoe Kravitz on it? Are you kidding me, dude? I've been on Raya for fucking years. I never saw Zoe Kravitz on it. I have a fat crush on her. Always and forever. That makes me so sad. I thought Channing Tatum had, like, a wife or something. What the fuck's he doing? I also thought he was... May or may not have been into... You know, not just girls. O'clock flights. Jen had called ahead. They were waiting for us down there. By the they time broke they got up. down there, they had given our seats away after Jen had called ahead. So we lost that on that flight. Now we've been sitting here. We've been instructed to come back up here for 450 flights, which we have tickets for. So we need to pick up our tickets and our boarding passes. If you could be so kind to help us. All right. Let me see. What is the 455? So we're good. We are booked. Yeah, you're booked on the 455. Okay, can we get And that smile goes a long way. Give it to me again. Go ahead. Smile for the camera. We're getting closer. We're not going to Monterey, but we're going to San Jose. Things are getting better. They're looking up. San Jose, close to Monterey. Over at check in, the Kaiser family is returning to Salt Lake City from vacation. They have lost their tickets and are told they'll have to buy new ones. We have no credit cards. I think we might have $20 left. I don't know what we're going to do. Probably going to be around $100 each person. Ruthless, dude. Ruthless. Oh my god. Did they give you a amount yet? I don't even want to tell you, Kevin. Can you get me an anxiety pill, please? Give me my purse. At the end of their financial rope, the stress proves too much for Andrea. Yo, I am not searching for Zoe Kravitz on Raya right now. This is like... Dude, camera guys, like, keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. This is good, keep filming. This shit is good, dude. Watching... Watching someone have a fucking panic attack... Dude, fuck yeah, this is that good shit. They're like... <laughs> It'll be okay. We'll 
we'll see what happens. That's how much I can't come up with it. With the tickets nowhere to be found, Kevin's last resort is to call the bus company that took them to the airport. The bus is coming back, and they will check the bus. Call back. Show us your matches on Raya. Literally bannable. Like, actually fucking bannable, dude. And not just like on Twitch, but definitely on Raya. Back at eight, if he'll tell me if they found him or not on the bus. It's going to be a tense wait for the family, but for Andrea, she needs time on her own. I want to cry for a while. I'll be back. Be okay. That lady can't afford plane tickets, probably because edits videos for you. Yup, that's right. Should we ban this person or should we keep him as a pet? What do we think? Oh, ew. Ugh, ew. Ew, 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 ew. So icky. No, I, I clicked on their fucking account immediately. It's like, they were trans, you fucking SJW. Like, ah, no, no. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Steve, see you on the next sock, you fucking weirdo loser. Back at BWI, Lewis tries oh, to get gross. a boarding card for the next flight to Raleigh. Okay, um, as they said, um, the next flight is at 4 o'clock. I guess you're going to have to see what happens until then. Okay, um, you're just going to have to hang tight until at least 3 o'clock before we get rechecked in. While he waits, Gina steps in to talk to him. I got I to gotta find out which way I'm going. That's it. You, if you, want the bu you want the bus, you said? Yeah, I got a ticket for the bus. You actually have a ticket for Southwest. You don't have a ticket for a bus. No, I can make I'm some going to North bus. Carolina. Okay. I'm going to get on the bus. I mean the plane. Oh, the plane. Yeah, the plane. Okay. And go to North Carolina and get off in Raleigh, and they're going to pick me up. Okay. That's it. What's All happening? Right. I don't yeah. know. Yo, how the fuck is this guy so zooted? Like, I'm kind of impressed. Shit's expensive, bro. Like... He must have gotten wasted before he got to the airport. Cause like, how is he still drunk? Like it almost feels like he's still getting more drunk. And I don't know how the fuck he kept being drunk. Cause you know, it's very expensive. Like, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but it's really expensive to get fucked up at the airport. Xanax probably, maybe. The police are afraid that he's going to go to the security checkpoint, but they t just told him that he didn't have a boarding pass. He won't get through the checkpoint. He just has that ticket. But I mean, if he doesn't chill out and sober up, they'll, they'll arrest him right away. Hopefully he just stays out of trouble so he can get home tonight. It's a confusing situation for Lewis. Number one, I don't know what's happening. Uh, evidently, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. That's all I, I know. I don't, I don't even know, man. I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. And, and to tell you the truth, when I get out of this airport, I ain't coming back to it. That's my vibes always. <laughs> I agree, bro. He's right. That's all I got to say. Lewis managed to stay on the right side of the police and arrived in Raleigh four hours later. King. Over at the gate, passenger Kevin Volk will not be allowed on the flight, so he has called his brother, an attorney, to persuade Jan otherwise. King shit. Uh, I don't know whose decision is going to be an okay with uh, Medlink. Well, Medlink is, uh, uh, there's a medical hospital that deals with people that are flying. Okay. Um, I contacted our headquarters, I gave them your symptoms, yep. and due to the fact that you have been vomiting and you've lost okay. no. hydration, okay? You okay. okay. just, um... And please, Hold believe on. me, this is... I know, I know. Yeah, my day. brother is just saying that he, there's a liability if you make me wait here, too on your part well, we have, versus we have, going now. Well, so. we have paramedics yeah. here at the airport. Right. We don't have paramedics right. or doctors on board. I know. And that's, right. uh, our, our concern is right. no, safety and safety. Right. But he's just saying that there's a lot of waiting here. Okay. So. okay. Well, the airlines are concerned. I know that. But so I am, I, we wanted to get them home. Jan holds her ground. 
Kevin won't be going anywhere until she's satisfied he's well enough to fly. Back in LA, there's good news for the Kaiser family. He found him on the bus and they're bringing him. He'll be here. Dude, here's what I don't understand. Like, like, do they not have a system? Like, it's just like 2003 or whatever, right? Like, like what? Okay, so you just print a new ticket, you know? The the country jingle is is hilarious. It's like a staple for TV. Like record, cre yeah, record keeping existed. Like, just literally pull up their license. It doesn't make sense. The reprint was what cost hundred dollars. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's fucking disgusting. Like, obviously, it's not that person's fault. Even though you know they should exercise a little bit of leniency, but like, whoever came up with that policy needs to be slapped in the fucking face. Okay, like an actual demon, dude. What is this? Almost a six 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 followers. Hog. That's right, boys. Almost a 666 followers, dude. Here at quarter to nine. Our flight's supposed to leave at quarter to nine. So I'm going to find out what they'll do if they'll hold the plane for the devil's number. Or what? Okay, well, if he doesn't make it, then worst case scenario, you get a hotel that's like right down the street, like a mile away. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. We can't stay in a hotel. I mean, we have nothing. I feel bad, but, I, you know, we didn't lose their tickets. They, they're responsible for their own tickets, fortunately, so. Dude, he's fucking terrible. Socialist commentator and gamer Hassan Piker expresses excitement over number 666. I knew these socialists were Satanists. I knew it, and this proved it, brother. What the fuck? <laughs> Back at BWI, Kevin has made a significant recovery, and all he needs now is the all clear from the paramedics. I'm just gonna give him a quick call, and I have your boarding passes all yeah, set up, and, that, and then we'll take those. This one's crazy too. It's like, hey, you're too sick to fly is like kind of a weird one too. Dumb. Like, sorry, you threw up. You're not allowed to fly now. It's like, okay. Hey, I just wanted to touch base with you again with regard to the gentleman that passed out at security, blood pressure fine. Um, he's been drinking water, he has much color, not sweating. He looks really good compared, and he has not vomited in about um, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. I, I feel pretty comfortable, I just want to run it by you. All right, thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. He's gonna go. All right, let's go. At last, Kevin and his mom are on their way home. Bye-bye. This type of scrutiny could have prevented COVID. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> nope. Back in LA, the Kaiser's tickets have arrived. Yeah, the penis music is pretty funny too. And then the country jingles. But the last flight to Salt Lake has left. Um, they have to stay uh, overnight here in Los Angeles and put them on the next plane in the morning. That's so nasty, dude. That's so fucking nasty. They paid for a ticket. Like, they couldn't, they couldn't afford a reprint. So now they have to stay one fucking extra night. Like... My Uber driver made me put on this mask that says I eat ass. What the fuck? Think they're gonna let me on the flight with this mask? Hey, uh, as long as you mask up, I don't think anybody can. You don't think anyone's gonna say anything? Nobody should worry about what you do in your personal life, but you. This is I eat ass. Is that chill? Really? Yeah. I can't wait to see you on this flight. I can't wait to see you on this flight. 
Yeah, yeah, my Uber driver gave me that mask. I was like, all right, man, whatever. Okay, this sussiest little Baca thing is like wearing a fucking mask your Uber driver gave you. Okay, I ain't putting that shit on my face, dude. I don't want to put my fucking Uber driver's nutsack on my fucking nose and mouth. Like, there's no shot. Like, there is not, there is not an amount of money on this planet that would get me to fucking get a random person's mask and put it on. Classes comment? I don't even want to put on a mask that my fucking family members put on before me. Are you insane? Classes comment? Shut the fuck up, bitch. You fucking put on, yeah, no, random people are going to walk up to you in the street and be like, hey, here, wear this mask. And you're like, well, I'm not a classist, so of course, thank you, sir. What the fuck kind of psychotic shit is that, dude? Yo, leftists are so stupid sometimes, literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, uh, I can't believe you're being such a classist, like... No, motherfucker, if a CEO wanted to be like, Hey, take this fucking mask, we're gonna be like, No, dude, I'm not gonna wear a fucking mask that's, like, not in a package, you know what I mean? So I did not have a mask. Anyway, I mean, it's fake anyway. I can't believe we just got, like, sound like there were a fake story. I said, lowest rate's $25. And are we going to sleep with cockroaches? Southwest isn't putting you in cockroaches, darling. No, we're going we'll, we'll, we're gonna to put you up in a, in a nice... That's a cap, dude. Southwest is, like, the cockroach version of flying, so... They definitely put you in fucking cockroach motels. No shot. This is all right. I mean, it looks sleek, but like, I don't like this couch. This couch is ugly. There's no back to it. These, these, the desks are fucking ugly too. I mean, uh, not the desks. The chairs are ugly too. What am I in fucking public school again? Looks so uncomfortable. Can we do more furniture stuff, please? Did you guys enjoy that stuff? You guys liked the furniture stuff yesterday? Think about the overall vibe of song. That's what Cutie said. Good. We don't need you appropriating Asian culture anyways. Yeah, dude. Yeah, getting feng shui, getting feng shui aesthetic or Japanese aesthetic in your fucking interior design is actually appropriating Asian culture. Uh, uh, that's so stupid, dude. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's ironically more racist to just like automatically assume that like uh like a very specific type like japanese interior design you're just encompassing that as like asian culture my cute wife enjoyed your furniture stream is that okay what a flex, dude. Imagine fucking flexing in Twitch chat about having a cute wife. Hotel. Okay. We're supposed to go to the hotel, call your dad from the hotel, and he will put it on his card at the hotel. At last, the Kaiser's luck has changed, and they head to the hotel. They'll be going home tomorrow. We can try to rekindle a little of... 
more with glass. Who was the lady yesterday? The lady yesterday was a wonderful lady by the name of Cutie Cinderella. Ludwig's girlfriend who used to do interior design and was a pastry chef as well. And um, she is uh, helping me deck out my fucking house, dude. My motherfucking house. I bet Cutie's perfume is great. Oh my God, dude. Just please stop. Okay. Show me, uh, show me at one of the fucking houses that I missed watching. Annie couldn't drop 100 to let them reprint and just film Lamau. What is this airline's business travel?